Well, it's official. After 22 days of paralysis, House Republicans have finally anointed their latest Trump puppet to be the Speaker of the House of Representatives, a guy named Mike Johnson, aka Diet Jim Jordan. But before we unpack all that, if you haven't yet, please hit that like, subscribe, and the alert bell. Okay, sad day for American democracy, but I guess it's a good day for Republicans because they finally have a speaker, Mike Johnson, a congressman from Louisiana, and he managed to get the job in one round of voting. Kevin McCarthy didn't pull it off. Jim Jordan didn't pull it off. And he won 220 votes to Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries' 207. There were no defections. There were no protest votes. The Republican Party finally fell in line. And if you're wondering who Mike Johnson is, don't worry. Most people are wondering who Mike Johnson is. Most of Mike Johnson's colleagues are trying to figure out who Mike Johnson is. Mike Johnson's spouse, if he has one, is probably trying to figure out who Mike Johnson is. But in case you need to know, here's Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries describing Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson, well, based on his track record, he clears, appears to be uh, an extreme right-wing ideologue. Uh, Mike Johnson wants to criminalize abortion care and impose a nationwide ban. Uh, Mike Johnson was one of the chief architects of trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. Mike Johnson also wants to end Social Security and Medicare as we know it. Those are extreme views, uh, and House Democrats will push back aggressively against that. That doesn't sound very good at all. You might be thinking, though, oh, is there a better way to describe Mike Johnson? And Hakeem Jeffries does it in this clip in about half the time. It's, so it sort of sounds like you're saying Congressman Johnson is just a less stylistically annoying Jim Jordan. Yeah. One could say that. There you go. A less annoying Jim Jordan. And given how annoying Jim Jordan is, it's really not saying that much. That could be still pretty annoying. So I actually wrote an article about Mike Johnson just a couple of hours ago before the full House vote, which again, unfortunately, he won in the first round. It's on LukeBeasleyShow.com slash news. Then the title is, the GOP's new speaker candidate is basically Diet Jim Jordan. And if you look at some of Mike Johnson's quote unquote greatest hits, you would see that to be the case. So Mike Johnson is an election denier. He organized a comprehensive amicus brief, Let's see if I can pull this up real quick, um, that supported Texas's attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Okay, Proud to lead over 100 of my colleagues in filing an amicus brief to express our concern with the integrity of the 2020 election and our election system in the future. We believe this suit filed by Texas, supported by 17 other states, merits full and careful consideration by SCOTUS. It didn't just end there. He objected to the certification of President Biden's win on January 6th. He was the co-sponsor of at least three bills which would ban abortion nationwide. This is from um, the uh, Biden-Harris official Twitter page, uh, HR 10 1080, Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, uh, HR 884, Protecting Pain Capable Unborn Children from Late-Term Abortions Act, uh, Heartbeat Protection Act of 2021, HR 705. Um, this one, this one's a doozy. Okay, brace yourselves. So, and it's tangentially related to his views on reproductive rights, um, but he basically blames women exercising their right to reproductive health care for the reason that Republicans have to cut Social Security and Medicare. And if you think that's deranged, just hear it straight from his mouth. Will B. Wade gave constitutional cover to the elective killing of unborn children in America, period. You think about the implications of that on the economy. We're all struggling here to, to cover the bases of Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and all the rest. If we had all those able-bodied workers in the economy, we wouldn't be going upside down and toppling over like this. Listen, the gentleman I will not yield. I will not. So again, because people out there are exercising their right to have an abortion because they don't believe in Mike Johnson's deranged pro-forced birth policy, because of course, again, he's a congressional Republican. He doesn't care about social safety nets. He doesn't care about children after they leave the womb, right? For to him, like most other Republican politicians, life for children ends at birth. When they're a fetus and it involves controlling what women and people can do with their own bodies, then he cares about uh, the viability and the health of the fetus. When the fetus leaves the birth canal and actually becomes a child, becomes a baby, he couldn't care less. Um, and then this one's one that you may not remember, but Jon Stewart had to publicly shame Mike 
uh, Johnson in 2019 when John Stewart gave his iconic viral speech in front of Congress about uh, long-term health care for 9-11 first responders. Point earlier, and it was one that we have Mr. Johnson, you, you, you made a point earlier, and it was one that we have heard over and over again in these halls, and I, 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 I couldn't help but to answer to it, which was, you said, look, you know, you guys are obviously heroes, and 9-11 was a big deal, but, you know, we have a lot of stuff here to do, and, uh, you know, we got to make sure there's money for a variety of uh, uh, disasters, hurricanes, and tornadoes, but this wasn't a hurricane, and this wasn't a tornado, and by the way, that's your job anyway. We can't fund these programs, you can. Setting aside that no American in this country should face financial ruin because of uh, uh, a health issue. Certainly 9-11 first responders shouldn't have to decide whether to live or to have a place to live. That's who Mike Johnson is. That's who Mike Johnson is. Mike Johnson is an extremist. Mike Johnson is, again, Diet Jim Jordan. He's Jim Jordan without the name recognition, which is why I suspect uh, Republicans finally put him forth, because sure, he's not a MAGA celebrity the way, again, somebody like Jim Jordan, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Lauren Boebert are, but that could have been his strength, and indeed, I think it was. It, what, it's what allowed people like Ken Buck, who said that they wouldn't support extremists who were election deniers and involvers and you know, people who were involved, rather, in January 6th, and yet he voted for Mike Johnson today, Don Bacon, another moderate who had been threatened by MAGA supporters trying to get Jim Jordan elected and who had opposed Jim Jordan's election, he voted for Mike Johnson too. Every Republican who previously opposed extremists um, in previous elections voted for Mike Johnson. And I suspect given the congruity with Mike Johnson's beliefs and the beliefs of those extremists, the only real difference is Mike Johnson isn't a well-known extremist figure. He's an obscure extremist figure, but no less extreme. Last thing I'll say is this. There's a real opportunity here for Democrats and those of us on the left to really hurt Republicans politically with this because Mike Johnson has given us plenty, plenty of fodder with which to work from that viral John Stewart moment, all the deranged things that he said about reproductive rights, to his involvement with the attempts to steal the 2020 election from President Biden. There's plenty of fodder for Democrats and their surrogates, people on the left, people who are liberals, people who just respect democracy and sanity, to use that against the GOP heading into 2024. And by the way, their House situation with their razor-thin majority and that situation is not looking good for 2024 anyway. So what I propose is that we absolutely, ruthlessly, and relentlessly use Mike Johnson's own words and actions against him into the 2024 election cycle. Punish these Republicans for their cowardice, especially the 18 Republicans who reside in swing districts won by President Biden. Make them hurt for this decision politically. And let's start now.